Hey friends, so today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderfully tasty doll dinner. It's really healthy, really fresh. I think you're going to love it. For more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's cook. So the first thing we'll do with this recipe is just finely chop three cloves of garlic. One finely chopped red onion. And we're gonna finely chop one red chili. So over here we're gonna get our pan nice and hot. And we're gonna add in some olive oil. So into our pan, we're going to add a full tablespoon of yellow mustard seeds. You want your heat down really low and we're just going to toast those a little bit. Now in with the mustard seeds, you're going to add in the three cloves of garlic, one full finely sliced red onion, and one finely chopped red chilli. Now we're just going to give that a bit of a stir and we're just going to let that fry away on a really low heat for a few minutes till your red onion starts to go translucent, but you want to keep that heat really, really low. Okay, it's time to get spicy. So the first thing we're gonna add in is a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of ground ginger, and two teaspoons of medium curry powder. We're also gonna add in a big pinch of salt. I wanna stir that together with the onions, the garlic, and the chili. Once you've stirred all that together, you're gonna to see mixture become quite dry. What you wanna add in is half a cup of water. Then just give that another stir together and keep it on a low to medium heat. And now at this stage in the dish, you can have a deeply flavorful gravy going on. What you wanna add in now, this is a full tin of dark green lentils. We're just gonna tip the full tin in there. I've left all the juices in, everything. It's all gonna add flavor to the dish and we're just gonna stir that together. Over here, I've got half a cup of tomato passata. Now I'm just gonna tip that in there as well. Passata is just, it's blended tomatoes that have been sieved out so they shouldn't have any seeds or skin in there. And we're just gonna stir that together and keep it on a low heat bubbling away. Okay, next we're gonna add a medium to large white potato. Now I'm gonna leave the skin on the potato and we're just gonna chop it into some cubes. Once we've got our cubes, we're just gonna pop them into the dough. And then you want to add a full cup of just cold water and we're just going to mix that all together. Turn the heat up slightly. You want to get it bubbling away and start to cook those potatoes through. Okay, so they've been bubbling away for about 10 minutes. Now this is actually an optional extra if you're trying to get a bit of extra protein in. It's also going to add a lot of flavour, so it's a real win-win to be honest. These are Linda McCartney sausages. You can use any kind of sausages you want. I've got six of them here. All I'm going to do is keeping the temperature fairly high, keeping it bubbling away. I'm just going to pop them in from frozen. Nice and simple, no prep. I'm just going to pop them in there. I'm going to cover them with some of the sauce. Get them in there. Get them bubbling away with the potatoes. The potatoes won't be fully cooked yet. What you're going to do is you want to let these bubble away for like another 10 minutes. That's going to make sure that these sausages are going to be cooked right the way through. And then we're going to get a sharp knife and check the potatoes. All we've got to do after that, add the spinach and we're golden. So that's been bubbling away for another 10 minutes. If we just uh, prick the potatoes, nice and soft, easy in, easy out, happy days. All I'm going to do now is grab two big handfuls of spinach and we're just gonna pop that in there. No need to chop it. There we go, happy days. No need to chop it or anything. Just gonna let the heat of the dish wilt that away.
Okay, so it's the best bit, it's time to dish up. So in here we've got our beautiful lentils, our potato, garlic, we've got the ginger, whole mustard seeds in here. This spinach is wilted perfectly. So how I like to serve it up, I like to grow a few cherry tomatoes and we just chop them in half. They're great when they're just nice and fresh, nice and firm. And I just like to add them in raw like this. Pop them around the dish, has a beautiful kick of colour and it also adds a nice bit of freshness into the dish. And then also over here I've got some Oatly creme fraiche style. All I'm going to do is add a beautiful dollop of that on top. And then that is exactly how I'd serve it. It's a beautiful, tasty doll dinner. Give this one a go at home. Nice and healthy, beautiful and tasty. And you see how easy it is to make. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, friends, just make sure you be nice to each other and goodbye.